Hello, I'm Mitch Turner from Little Venice Cake Company and I have covered and decorated many, many cakes in my time. One of the things that people always ask me is how do you get the perfect flawless finish as a perfect canvas for your covered cake before you go on to decorate it? And that's what I want to show you today. In association with Silver Spoon Create, brought out some amazing products, the first of which is this marzipan that is 36% ground almonds. It's the finest quality on the market available, 40% higher almond content than any others that I've found. And I love working with this because it's a lovely soft marzipan, real almond flavor, not hard at all, and adds a lovely coverage over the cake. Now the first thing you'll notice when you take this marzipan out is its lovely texture. It's got a lovely grain where you can actually see the almonds in the marzipan itself. It's got a lovely feel. It's nice and oily but not greasy um, and it's lovely and soft. And the smell of the almonds. It's not with flavouring, it's natural almonds. So it's a lovely flavour, texture and super to work with. You'll notice that I'm kneading the marzipan. This is to bring it up to a nice temperature that's malleable without making it sticky. So I'm trying not to add any extra icing sugar onto the surface that I'm working with. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing the marzipan around in a circular motion, turning it and bringing the outside edge into the centre, which is allowing the marzipan to come up to temperature and become nice and pliable. And then we're going to liberally dust the work surface with icing sugar at this stage before we roll out. Now I'm using a silicon rolling pin. This doesn't impart any temperature into the marzipan, so it doesn't make it too cold as you're rolling it out. I'm using a nice length uh, rolling pin, nice and long, with no grooves or handles at either end. And what you'll notice as I roll out the marzipan is it's lovely and soft, but not stretchy and sticky. And I keep it in contact with the table as I turn it. And I'm turning it very frequently. I'm just doing a couple of strokes in, in this direction before I turn the marzipan. That way I'm helping to make sure that the overall shape retains its nice circular shape and always making sure that when I turn it I brush the surface of the marzipan or my rolling pin so that I'm not putting any extra icing sugar onto the surface which would embed into the marzipan itself. Now to cover a cake you're aiming for a thickness of around three to four millimeters. Once you've reached the shape and size that you're looking for, I'm going to brush the cake itself with boiled apricot jam. Now this is sieved apricot jam um, and boiled and the cake you'll notice is on a cake board that's exactly the same size as the cake and I've upturned the cake so that I'm always working with the top as the bottom. And now to lift the marzipan into position what I like to do is lift the marzipan at this end and then with my hand I like to get my hand and my arm as flat like a fish slice that allows me to come right in under the marzipan and then my other hand underneath and separate. So that marzipan is now still very much in contact with the table. I'm holding all of it there so there's no stress on the marzipan itself. And as I lift it up and over the cake, I allow my arms to come outwards. This means I've got an even amount of, an even amount of marzipan all the way around and any air is expelled as the marzipan is released, but enough space all the way around to ensure that it goes all the way down to the base of the cake. And then with the flats of my hands, I'm just gently skirting the marzipan out and cupping the outside of the cake, brushing it upwards like this, so it's bringing the marzipan to the cake, allowing it to stick nicely to the form where we've brushed it with the jam. Now what I'm gonna do here is just trim, so there's an excess of just about one to two centimeters all the way around the cake. Smoothers are the cake decorator's godsend. These were what really set your finishing off so that you have a lovely professional finish. I'm using a very flexible blade knife here to lift the cake up so that I can hold it in my hand here on a nice clawed hand so that the weight is going all the way down through my arm. And then at eye level, I'm holding my smoother vertically and a combination of patting and smoothing, I'm allowing that marzipan to come down below the level of the cake and the cake board that it's sitting on and smoothing it all the way around. And what this is doing is allowing the cake to work to the shape of the board that it's sitting on. In this instance, of course, it's the same size as the cake, so that you get a lovely rounded finish, perfectly round finish on the base of the cake. So smooth that all the way around. And then what I do is I come in with my knife at eye level and trim underneath. Using the cake board itself as a guide, I'm holding my knife very flat 
to trim the excess as I come around here. And then with a flat edge smoother, just gently rock around the edge of that trimmed surface, be a cut edge. And what that does is it tucks all the crumbs of marzipan in nicely so that you get a lovely smooth finish. And then to finish off, pop your cake onto a nice acrylic work board here. And using the smoothers together, flat one on the top and the right angled one around the sides, use the pressure around here to ensure that you've got a lovely straight sided cake, keeping it very at right angles to the base and the surface, like so. And then use the white one over the top to make it nice and smooth. And then with my hands, this part of my hands in here, I'm just going to rub the top edge of the cake. And what this does is it brings the top and the sides together to ensure that they are all nice and smooth and there are no cracks and no lumps and no bumps. And that's our cake ready marzipan. And contrary to what you may have heard, it is possible to sugar paste directly onto that now. You don't need to leave it to set overnight.